हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिस्टर मोदीप कुमार टुडे वी विल रीड करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आई टोल्ड यू यस्टरडे दैट द कूलम्स लॉ ओके सो द कूलम्स लॉ इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स ऑन रिपल्शन इज इक्वल टू k q1 q2 अपॉन r स्क्वायर ओके सो व्हाट वाज k k वाज 1/4 बाय एप्सिलॉन व्हाट वाज एप्सिलॉन नॉट एप्सिलॉन नॉट वाज द एब्सोल्यूट परमिटिविटी फ्री स्पेस एब्सोल्यूट परमिटिविटी since the unit of k is newton meter square per coulomb square so epsilon will be coulomb square per newton meter square what so what actually is epsilon not this is the absolute permittivity in free space means what means in free space okay how electric field will cross that free space means how many lines of electric field will cross to free space means how it is allowing the charge to cross its electric field Through itself, okay. Its, its capability of letting letting the electric field of light to pass through that space. That is permittivity, absolute permittivity, free space. Got it. Now we need a different thing. Methods of that. Remember, we are dealing with electrostatic field now. We are not going to current, but these things are important to know, okay? Because this will be used later. You will see. You will see how we are dealing with all these things there, okay? Now methods of that. Yesterday I have told something that Benjamin Franklin uh, rubbed, okay, some uh, cat fur with something and uh, some kind of rod and what the cat fur positively charged the plastic or 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 what we we'll should do what negatively charged. Okay, so today we will read about a lot of charge. First, by rubbing or friction. By rubbing or So when various various uh, suppose object one object is rubbed with another object, what can happen? The charge upon this many electron will get transferred from here to here. If the electron is transferred from this body to this body, what will happen? This body will get negatively charged. This will get positively charged. Okay. So when a body is neutral, what is that? Body is neutral. Suppose me, I am neutral. Do you think that if you touch me, will you get any shock? Sometimes you get, but normally. I remain neutral to you. That means that doesn't mean I don't have charge. I will have charge, but the charge is balanced, neutral. Okay, means no net charge is there. Negative and positive they are balancing each other, becoming net charge is zero. So by the rubbing of friction, what happens? If one body is rubbed to another, then the charge gets transferred. Suppose we are doing a we have a comb, comb. So we are doing our hair arrangement. What happens? Dry hair. Okay, okay. All these um, experiments are performed in. Dry hair, okay, dry hair. So what there when there is little of humidity or no humidity, so dry hair gets positively charged and comb gets negatively charged. So I will list for that the, uh, how they will how various combination of materials will be means charged. So first glass comb, then here will be silk comb. Cat fur. Then there will be humanoid rod. Humanoid rod. Then dry hair. Here it is. Comb. Then woolen cloth. Here it is. Plastic rod. Or amber, A B E R. Okay, so these objects positively charged. This when this is 
is rubbed with this, this is rubbed with this, this is rubbed with this, this is rubbed with this. This all gets positively charged. And this gets, this gets negatively charged. What is? So, this was the method of char charging an object by rubbing or by friction. Second one, method of charging by induction. Charging by induction. Okay. Suppose we need to charge a body. Okay. We need to charge a body. That means we have to, if it is electrically neutral, suppose. Okay. So, or not neutral, uh, suppose partially, okay, so number of electron is equal to number of proton, number of negative charge or number of positive charge. So, if, it, if a body is neutral, or no charge is there, suppose, and we need to, we want to charge it, okay, either negative or positive. So, for that, by running it into, and by another thing is method of uh, induction, okay. So, by in, induction also we can charge. Suppose we have a sphere. And we want to charge it in a we want to charge this there negatively, completely negatively. Okay? So for complete negatively, what we will do? We will bring an object which is already positively charged. We are bringing a rod here and not touching it, we are keeping a distance, a gap. A positively charged body is brought near to this, then what will happen? This Sphere is having net charge zero, but it has electron as well as proton. Means negative and positive charges are charges are there, but net charge is zero. So this will attract all the negative charges to its side, okay, and repel all the positive charges to this side, okay. What it means if you want to charge this. This body negatively, what we need to do? We need to bring a positively charged rod here or body here. This will attract all the negatively charged this side and repel all the positively charged that side. Okay? Now, what we need to do? We need to earth it. Means do the earthing here. What will happen now? So, this side positively charged, for a moment we do this earthing. Okay? What will happen? Electron from earth will come to this object and make dissolved positive charge neutral. Okay. After that, you remove that earthing. Okay. So in that case, this will become neutral and only this negatively charge will be there. Hence, you will get your body as complete negative charge. Okay. I am again explaining the process. If we want to charge a body negative means negatively charge one to a body by induction method. So what we need to do? We need to bring a positive charged body near to this. It will attract the negative charges of this body to its own side, but not touching this. Okay? They are a bit of gap of distance between them. Okay? And repel all the positive charges to that side. We now in earth, okay? Or this side. What happens? Instantly electrons move from earth, earth to Neutralize this positive charge. So for a moment this is done and removed. So in that case this will be neutral and extra electrons will be there. Negatively charged, extra. So what will happen? This extra negatively charge will redistribute itself upon the whole body and this will become negatively charged. Similarly, if you want to make it positively charged, you need to bring the negatively charged body at the center of each. Not touching, but a gap should be there. What will happen then? This negatively charged body will attract all the positively charged this side and repel all the negatively charged that side. Then you make an earthing and do an earthing negative. So the electron will move to earth and the body will remain all positively charged if you want to do the positive charge over the whole body. So third is a very simple process. Charging by energy. Charging by energy. Okay. 
फील्ड कंडक्शन फर्स्ट लुक चार्जिंग बाय रबिंग रिसॉर्ट मींस फ्रिक्शन बाय फ्रिक्शन विल रब दैट विदाउट कमिंग द चार्ज इन ट्रांसफर बट इन कंडक्शन व्हाट हैपेंस सपोज टू मीडियम्स आर देयर सो दे फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लॉट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो सपोज इफ वन हैज मोर कंडक्टिविटी व्हाट विल हैपन द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल जंप फ्रॉम वन टू अनदर इन मोर ओके सो बाय कंडक्शन व्हाट वी डू मींस बाय कंडक्शन ओनली वी टच टू बॉडी लाइक वी हैव रेड इन हीट एंड थर्मल एनर्जीज दैट देयर आर थ्री मोड्स ऑफ हीट एंड हीट ट्रांसफर यू नो कंडक्शन कन्वेक्शन एंड रेडिएशन so in conduction what we do in conduction we touch two bodies so the the body at higher temperature will transfer heat to lower temperature similarly here if two bodies are there just touch it okay so body having excess charge will go to another one suppose this is efficient electron efficient this is more electron then what will happen suppose two electrons are there so it has suppose a positive charge so Electron will reach you and become will come to this side. Okay, electron will transfer by conduction. So this is simple by rubbing, by induction, by conduction we have it. Got it? Now we will read many good concepts regarding this. Okay, in this in this chapter. Now we come to electric field. See the chapters will current electricity, but we are reading this Coulomb's law. Electric field, electric potential, because you have read in class eight that when see if there is no battery at, uh, connected to the circuit, no current will flow. Okay, so what does the battery do? Do battery actually provides the driving force for that? Okay, by internal reaction. Okay, so there potential is the driving. So how the potential works? How 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 is it generated? So so this is why we are reading the basic things first, not electric. This very interesting thing I'm telling you. Yeah, yes. Listen, we saw in Coulomb's law that if there is charge, another charge placed by separation, a force exerted on this charge by this charge and upon this charge by this charge. Okay? Why it happens? Why it happens? Actually, actually, why does the why is the force exerted on this by this and by this due to this? How? Why? Actually, let us suppose. Someone is standing outside, okay, and we are within my air conditioner room, okay, and I am maintaining it at 16 degrees centigrade. Someone outside at 44 degrees centigrade is standing. Then he randomly came inside the room, okay. So what happened? When he came inside the room, he was shocked. Oh my God, this is so cool. This room is so cool. How? Why? Why it happened? Because in room there was a temperature field distributed. So temperature field of room was different than that of outside. So as the person from outside came inside, he got a kind of force. Okay, there was field inside. Similarly, if we have a charge, suppose capital Q, right? So it will have its own field around itself. Okay, it will have its own its own field around itself. Suppose there is a point here, so it will have everywhere means near to it, near to this charge, it will be it will have its own field. And if another charge is brought here, what will happen? This charge will experience a force. Got it? So that the field is defined as electric field due to a charge. is defined as electrostatic force per unit charge per unit charge due to charge under the electrostatic force per unit charge okay and it is actually around this electric field is with electrostatic force for its charge and this this exists around the space of this charge okay on the space it is there actually space around this charge okay you can write here it is the space around the charge around the charge 
where if an another charge is brought another charge is brought okay then then the other charge which we have brought experiences electric field then another charge experience brought experiences electric force basically experiences electric force they are electrostatic force electrostatic force got it so this this is electric field basically so electric field can be written as e okay in vector form it is written as e vector so this is electrostatic force upon charge okay now i will tell why upon charge we are writing okay but so the definition of field is the charge is defined as electrostatic force per unit charge at a point So electric field. Suppose there this charge is there. We need to find the electric field due to this charge at this point. No extra charge is kept there in the initial. We need to find the electric field at this point. So what we will do? We will bring an extra charge here and then calculate what is the force exerted upon this extra charge brought here. Okay. So if if we are bring a charge. It should be of very small quantity. Otherwise, it will disturb the configuration of this charge. Means this charge is placed up here, and if you bring a big amount of charge here, test charge. This is for test charge, basically. Okay, this will disturb. This. So we will bring a unit test positive charge. Unit test positive charge is brought here. So a unit test positive charge is brought here. Unit test will be nine to be one. Okay. So, what will be electric field upon this unit test for? So we we'll write only magnitude. So what will be electric field upon this point? So this will be force, electrostatic force. K, Q. Then value of this charge. Okay, suppose we are bringing Q charge. It will be Q by. K Q Q by R square divided by Q. We have brought Q charge, so it will be divided by Q. Divided by Q means whole by Q. So this Q will get cancelled, and the answer will be K Q upon R square. Okay. So this is about electric field. Now, what is? Have you written all this? So electric field is equal to one half square. So you can see here that this charge and by this charge unit it got cancelled. So it is defined as the uh, electrostatic force per unit charge. So electric field due to this charge is equal to force. Suppose we need to find electric field due to this charge on this point. So at this point we bring the unit charge and how much charge we bring? Suppose you actually it should be very small. We can take unit test positive charge. But if we suppose we consider Q to be very small, then what we need to do? We need to write the force upon this. So this is K Q Q by R square upon this charge. So per unit charge, K Q by R square. Okay. Okay. There is a term called electric lines of force. I will not teach this electric lines of force more, but I will discuss it. Please, we need to discuss it. Okay. So what happens? Electric lines of force is the imaginary line. When a charge is kept, it do have its own electric field. You know, I told it just now. If, if there is charge, its own electric field will be around it. Okay. So. At every point, suppose there is a charge here, we need to find the electric line, uh, electric field at this point. So electric field is also a vector quantity, and its unit was meter per coulomb. 
force per unit charge electric static force per unit charge so you will be assigned the newton per coulomb okay so we there is a charge and we need to find the electric field at this point or this point or this point anywhere okay so what happens how we can get the magnitude but how we get the direction okay by some vectorial uh, a vectorial summation or uh, subtraction we can get that by, by vectorial operation but but practically it can also also be done what happens that there is an imaginary line okay so you mean like that imaginary line at the tangent at that point will represent that direction of electric field at that point is in the tangent of that tangent upon that electric field line okay so Uh, the electric field lies from positive charge comes out of all of it and goes to infinity okay the electric field lies due to positive charge comes out of outward and means if there is a positive charge here electric field lies with the here 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 so these are the straight lines okay if it is a negative negative charge The electric field lines will come like this towards the middle. Okay. If both the positive and negative charges are there, then what will happen? So I am again telling. I have taken the magnitude of this charge. And this charge same. So the number of electric field lines originating from this will terminate to this. Go to this one. The same number of lines. The same number. Suppose six lines are originating from this. The six lines will terminate to this because the magnitude of charge is same. Electric field lines basically go from positive to negative. Okay, positive charge to negative charge. So what we have been given is the electric field. Means some source is there. We don't know about the source here. Some source are there. And the electric lines of force are like this. Electric field lines. Okay, electric field direction is like this. Got it? Electric field direction. Okay. So suppose we are bringing a positive charge in this electric field. So a positive charge Q or small Q is brought in this electric field. So what will be the direction of force exerted upon this Q? See, I have told you that electric field lines goes from positive to negative. Positive to negative are kept apart. Okay, a bit of distance. So what will happen? Means electric field lines they are coming from positive going to negative. Okay. So here it will be positive. Somewhere it will be Negative. I don't know the source here because I have randomly given you an electric field, the external electric field. 
coming from somewhere and going to some some place. So we will do charges. Suppose this side will be positive, this side will be negative. So what will happen to this? Since this is a positive side, as I told, negative field lines are going to positive to negative. So this will be negative. Okay. Now if I bring the same electric field external and bring the negative charge here, what will happen? Here it will be what? Suppose here electric line is going from this to this side. So here is this side you can imagine that there is positive charge. Okay? Consider it. So this positive charge will attract this. So force will be exerted this side. Got it? So a positive if a positive charge is kept in an external electric field, the direction of force exert exerted on this positive charge is in the same direction of electric field. Got it? And if a negatively charge is placed in a in a given external electric field, then the force upon this negative charge is in the direction opposite to that of electric field. Here the electric field direction is this side, here the electric field direction is this side. Here the direction of force is this side, but the direction of electrostatic force upon this charge is this side. Okay? So force upon minus Q is this side, means opposite to electric field direction. This is in the same direction to the electric field. Got it? Now we will read up again we will read a new concept that is electric potential. Like we saw in electric field, if a charge was kept at some place, they will, they will, be, they will be having a electric field around it. Its own electric field around it. Okay? Now, since it has its own electric field around it, and we want an another charge to bring in its electric field, in its zone, in its vicinity. Okay? So what we need to do for that? We are bringing a charge small. Yeah. So what will happen? This charge will try to repel this one. This is positive charge. So this, this is also positive charge. Nothing is written means automatically we take it as positive charge. So this charge will try to repel this charge. Okay. So this will try that, this should go away from this, but we are bringing it here, but we will tell no, you sit here. Okay, we want this charge to come here, because we have used, for some cases it may be needed. So, we are bringing this, this side. So, if this will try that, no, this should go away, but we are bringing, 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 bringing it here. But, it will exert the force in that side, go away. but we need that here, here, okay, this side here. So, what, what do we do? We need to do a work to bring it to this side. Isn't it? So, if a positive charge is kept here and we are bringing us another charge Q from this side to this side, so we need to do some work for this. We need to do some external work. Where some external work I am saying? Because we need to do an external, we need to apply an external force to hold this, near this. Here actually what happened? This charge will apply force upon this and going away. So we need to apply the same force in opposite direction to this. So this external force applied is equal in magnitude to the negative of electrostatic force applied to this. Got it? To hold this, we need external force. Okay, that will be in the direction opposite to that of electric electrostatic force. Got it? Clear of this. Clear. 
now. So we need to do a work. So electric potential is basically defined as, you can write it. Electric potential. Okay. So what is this? I mean, I mean. To bring the unit test to bring the unit test positive charge. We always take the positive test charge as positive. But because we have seen that normally these all calculations are done. Okay. So it should be easier. The derivation should be easier. Okay. So to avoid any kind of mistake, suppose that, uh, positive charge, the electric field lines are there. So if you put a charge, positive charge there, the electric lines of uh, the electric force upon this will be in the same direction of the electric field. So in the same direction, so calculation will be very much easier rather than that of positive negative combination. Okay. So electric potential is defined as the work done to bring a unit is positive charge. From infinity to a point. Okay? So, what will this point? So, electric potential at that point. So, electric potential at a point is defined there. You can write electric potential at a point. I will tell you why I am telling you. Okay? So, electric potential at a point is defined as work done to bring a unit test positive charge from infinity. To the given point. To the given point. What is? So. Two charge and given. Okay. So, see, if the charge which we want to bring near to this is initially at infinite. At a very far distance. So, if the, the, there is charge here, so none of uh, there is no force acted by this upon the charge kept upon the infinity in the infinity. So, infinity means it's very far away from this. That is a kind of reference. Okay, infinity is a kind of reference. Okay. So, a charge kept at infinity suppose means the charge which is kept at infinity is per se no electric field. If it is kept at, suppose we are assuming if it is kept at infinity. So, from at infinity, if the charge is there, means the work done is zero to keep it at infinity. But as we are bringing it from infinity to this point, this point, this point, coming closer, 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 so we, it will exert more and more force there. Okay? So, we will have to work more and more and more and more and more. Okay? So, suppose at this point. We need to find the electric potential. Okay. So what we need to do? Suppose the distance is R. Okay. Distance is R. We got the two charge. Okay. So to bring the unit test positive charge. Suppose you are bringing another charge to you, we will divide it by Q. Got it. Or if you take unit test positive, no problem. You can take the magnitude one one Okay. No problem. One no. One proton we are given, okay? Means charge on one proton, one not one proton, one proton, one point six into the minus ninety coulomb, okay? positive, okay? So, so, what it? So here we see the uh, definition. So work done. So what? How you say work done? Work done is equal to force into displacement. Actually, in mathematics, it is dot product of force and displacement. W equal to F dot S in vector form. Okay. I'm writing it here. Okay. F dot S. In the, this is a kind of dot. F vector dot S. Okay. 
so this can be written as f s cos theta. You must be knowing that somewhere you have heard, uh, you might have heard that that cross product is f. Uh, suppose in the a cross b vector can be written as a b sin theta into a into magnitude of b into angle between them. Dot product can be written as suppose a dot b that is a a magnitude into b magnitude into cos theta angle between them. Similarly, more than is f dot s f s that is that can be written as f s cos theta means force into displacement. Means in the direction of force there should be displacement. Okay, not uh, okay. If it, it is making a component, we will take the component that suppose uh, force is here, okay, uh, here, and displacement is here. So we will take the component of force which is on acting towards the direction of displacement, or the component of displacement which is making in the direction of force. Okay, so we are taking dot dot product for that. So work done is equal to F dot S means F S cos theta. Here we are taking the work done with external force, which is against the electrostatic force, opposite to the electrostatic force. Okay. So here, uh, uh, since the electrostatic force in this direction, we are taking external force in this direction. So these two angles, the angle between the electrostatic force and the external force is how much? It is one eighty degree. Okay. This angle. So it is one eighty degree. So we put theta is equal to One eighty degree. So this will be F S into minus one. Since theta is equal to one eighty degree, so this is equal to F S into uh, minus of F S. Okay. What is this minus of F S? Minus N has to be equal to minus one. Means theta one eighty degree. Means angle between the electrostatic force and the force which we are exerting to keep this charge, Q charge. Suppose this this Q charge may be one unit is positive charge. Also, we will take in the derivation. But initially, you think this is Q charge, so minus F S. F is the electrostatic force. Okay, S is the displacement. Okay, here to derive the potential of any point due to a charge, we have to use a very simple mathematics that is called integration. A very simple small one. So integration, I will. Teach you side of it. Have only one formula that you have to use. This is why I am telling you there. Okay. X to the power n dx is equal to so integration of x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus one upon n plus one. And if this integration is done from limit a to b, in the result we have to put that limit. A to B. This is called lower limit. This is upper limit. So we'll put first upper limit, then minus. We'll put lower limit to the function. I will tell you how it is done. So this is a formula which is basically you read in 11th and 12th. But here I will use one of uh, ones only. So this is why I'm telling you this one now. Now we will derive the formula for potential at a point due to charge Q. So let us take a point at a distance r from this charge, where we need to find the potential. So what I have told, I have told you that the potential at any point due to charge is the work done to bring a unit test positive charge from infinity up to that point. So from infinity, suppose from very far away, a unit test positive charge we are bringing. So to bring this unit is positive charge from very far away up to this point. The work done will be equal to the potential. Okay, at this point due to this charge. Okay. Now in between, let us take a very elementary displacement, very small dr dash, and this dr dash we are taking at r at r dash distance from this charge. Okay, from from this charge, we are taking r dash distance. Okay, we have to find the potential here. Don't worry for that. But I am assuming a distance from Q to r dash and taking very small displacement dr dash. So what will be the work done by this uh, by by force to displace it through the distance dr dash? The work done will be electrostatic force due to this charge up up to this point, at, uh, this charge at this point and into okay uh, displacement. So. Work done will be elemental work done because for very small displacement we are assuming it. So minus because we have taken in the previous formula I have derived minus minus f. So f will be 
k q small q we are taking it as one unit positive charge so one by so we, we there is no need to write one by r dash square okay r dash square got it so k q into one upon r dash square got it into displacement displacement we are taking it dr dash this is elemental work to displace dr dash okay from infinity to r we are coming so in between the, the path we have taken a small displacement dr dash and written the work done for that small part for small displacement elemental work small work now if uh, now this is for the small small displacement the work done we are coming from infinity to this point so we have to integrate this small 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 work done add that and that addition is integration so total work done is equal to integration of dw that is equal to okay from where to where we are coming we are coming from infinity to r because this is r so from here initially unit test charge was at infinity coming to r okay so integration will be from infinity to r now we'll put this dw from here so this is equal to minus k q upon r dash square into dr minus we take outside okay into dr dash okay minus we take outside do the integration coming from infinity to r point r distance okay so coming from infinity up to r got it now we'll integrate it this is why i have told you the formula for integration earlier so we'll we, so let us take this is equal to minus k q integration of 1 upon r dash square into dr dash okay let us uh, from infinity to r distance let us do the integration part here okay so that it will be clear for you so 1 by r dash square integration dr dash from infinity to r so this is basically what integration of r, r dash to the power minus 2 into dr dash infinity to r distance we are taking so this is x what i have told you the formula of integration x to the power n so n is here minus 2 so it will be equal to r dash to the power minus 2 x to the power n plus 1 it was so minus 2 plus 1 by n plus 1 so here it is minus 2 plus 1 okay from infinity to r so this is actually r dash to the power minus 1 okay by minus 1 so r dash to the power minus 1 we can write 1 by r dash because x to the power minus 1 we can write 1 by x so r dash to the power minus 1 we can write 1 by r dash so it is 1 by r dash which since in the denominator it is minus 1 so minus 1 we can write here okay now let us put the integration limit upper lower limit and upper limit so firstly we will write the upper limit part so this is equal to minus is outside at the place of how to put the limit at the place of r dash the variable will write the value that is r so 1 by r then we'll put minus then put the lower limit so 1 by infinity so how to put the limit uh, in, in place of variable r dash we'll put r first upper limit then minus then we'll put the lower limit at the place of variable that is 1 by infinity so this is equal to minus 1 upon r because 1 by infinity is equal to 0 so finally this value we have got is minus 1 by r so we can put it here minus kq into minus 1 by r so this whole when multiplied will give you kq upon r okay have you understood this so we have got potential due to a point charge q at any point which has a distance of r will be given by kq upon r okay why i have told you this derivation because this is very important uh, in for competitive exams also even for uh, your uh, ntsc and this is read basically in class 11th and 12th So potential due to point, potential due to charge Q at a distance at a point 
लाइंगे डिस्टेंस आर इज इक्वल टू के क्यू अपॉन आर वेर के इज द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कॉन्स्टेंट वी कैन राइट इज वन बाय फोर पाई एफ सेवन नॉट इन टू क्यू अपॉन आर गॉट इट सो पोटेंशियल रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वी सो वॉट यू आर सींग वॉट यू कैन गेट द कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम यूर वी आर गेट वी आर सींग दैट द चार्ज वॉज पॉजिटिव चार्ज द चार्ज वॉज पॉजिटिव चार्ज ओके सो फॉर पॉजिटिव चार्ज यू कैन सी यर फॉर पॉजिटिव चार्ज द पोटेंशियल इज पॉजिटिव सिमिलरली फॉर नेगेटिव चार्ज द पोटेंशियल विल बी नेगेटिव विल यूज दिस इन इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट कंप्लीटली विल यूज दिस वन बिकॉज वेन वी यूज बैटरी वन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोड गेट्स पॉजिटिवली चार्ज एंड वन ऑफ द बैटरी गेट्स नेगेटिवली चार्ज सो देर इज पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल एंड नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल एंड पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल माइनस ऑफ माइनस नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल विल गेट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड हेंस इट विल ड्राइव द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू फ्लो okay so this is why i have shown you here that the the value of uh, voltage in due to positive charge is positive okay and due to negative charge it will be negative got it